quarter past six on Sunday morning and I'm off on an adventure. This is exciting. Such a beautiful morning. The sun is in the sky, the clouds look amazing. This is going to be great. had a glimpse of the mountain tops shrouded in cloud so as I approach the crest of this hill I'm going to turn the camera around and let you get a look at where I am headed this morning so here we go you ready two three and go look at that I'm going up into those peaks <laughs> So I was on the way, it's just past 6.30, so I'm anticipating 8 hours, which hopefully give me enough time to get back home in time for my daughter to make it to the ferry without having to get the bus. Beautiful morning, absolutely perfect conditions. Right, we're just coming to the Garvalt. That's where this bridge is here. And then we're going to climb up that, which is steep, so I might drop a layer before I start that. This is where the valley opens up around to the right, and you get your first glimpse of Kirvor, the big comb, and the witchy step, which is where I'm going. Gosh, is it next week? 16th of June. I'm going up there with a the guide. Because I've never done it before and I'm a bit scared to go on my own. So today's partly training for that. Get my hill fitness going. Here for there, I went up last year. I'll probably do that again this year at some point. But now it's time to de-layer at the bottom of the Garvalt and start climbing. <laughs>
number one, Ben Cleven. I made it in time for 8 a.m. power hour. So I just logged into my my co-working power hour session and showed everyone the views. That felt good. <laughs> Amazing views from here. Took me what two and a half hours from the car. Yeah, two and a half hours. It's not bad. Feeling a blister coming on, so I'm gonna take my boots off and put a plaster on. Have some coffee. Is it too early for a sandwich? I don't know, it might be. I think I'll have a boiled egg and a cup of coffee and then crack on. I don't want to sit around for too long. So here we are. Ben Cleven. top of Ben Tarson. It's a pool. <laughs> the helicopter out there, hopefully on exercise. Probably mountain rescue I would think. And here's the view behind me. That peak over there was peak number one. Ben Cleven. Peak number two, just up there. Ben Tarson. It's going all right. I'm just knackered. I'll get another cup of coffee at the top of this one. Onwards and upwards. Ben Tarson, oh, 10 to 12, it's basically three hours from the top of Ben of Cleveland, but that was with a lot of stopping, making videos and such, you know what I mean, 
So I got a message from my wife to say there's no need to rush back because my daughter's going for an earlier ferry. Luckily she managed to get on because the trains are cancelled. I mean, honestly. So she wasn't going to manage back to her halls of residence because the trains are cancelled. Unbelievable. I just bumped into a friend of mine running down. Running, actually, yeah. He'll drop a photo in. I took some pictures. I didn't take any video. A photographer friend of mine about whom I spoke recently on a video, Kirsty Smith. You should check out her photography website because her pictures are stunning. She comes up here a lot. I don't think she always runs. <laughs> she does come up with camera equipment and camps out and she gets some of the most spectacular Aaron photographs I have ever seen. So she's running today with a friend of hers, a ranger called Corrine. So the two of them were, were in running gear and trainers. And here's me pecking and panting all the way up the hill in my big clumpy hiking boots, my big backpack, carrying waterproofs and all sorts in there, just like choo 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 choo. It's amazing to see. coffee outdoors by the way. There's not a breath of wind. Not a breath. Now if I had a drone, could you imagine the scenes I'd be getting today? Unbelievable. And it was the same when I was up here a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> Making me think it's always like this. <laughs> of course I know different, but honestly, conditions for hiking today could not be better. Could not be better. Interestingly, Kirsty and Karina are the only other two people I've seen. And I've been walking since 6.30. It's now midday. Where is everyone? Probably up Goat Fell. <laughs> Goat Fell, can you see it? I don't know if it's in frame. It's just behind me there. Aaron's highest peak at, how high is it? 867 metres, I think. Yeah, just under 3,000 feet. I think it's 867. This one, I'm not sure actually how high this one is. Let me just get out my OS map locator because that will tell me my elevation. That will be interesting. Let's have a look. So we are currently at 815 meters. So pretty high. Unusual to have no wind at this height. It really is. It's usually windy on all the peaks. Well, I say usually. How would I know? It's not like I'm up here all that often. But The only time I came up with my son was when we went up Goatfell together. And it was windy as at the top of Goatfell that day. And the cloud came down, we didn't get any views either. And since then, he hasn't gone back up. I think that was 2018. Or was it 2016? I can't remember. So, I'm having a great day, I have to say. A spectacular day. It's... It's something I want to do more of. As the summer progresses, I am definitely going to be doing more of this. It'd be nice to get out. Well, I'm getting out most weeks at the moment, which is good. It would be nice to get out on big walks like these at least once a week. And I can make it happen, you know, if I structure my life in such a way that I can get time to do it. I don't know about the foul weather. I don't really expect I will come out in foul weather. I'll come out in changeable weather because I do want to get used to it. And what I'm finding is that, I mean, even though this is only my second time here, I recognised some parts. Only last time I was going the other way, so I was going down the bit I just came up and it was a little bit nerve-wracking in some spots. Um, 
But yeah, as Kirsty said to me when I bumped into her, she asked if I was getting out a lot and I said yes I was and she said aye, once you get your confidence up. And so as I was skirting my way around the big boulder there, trusting these boots to hold on tight, I was thinking yeah, this is a confidence thing. And so, yeah, I am getting my confidence up. It's interesting because, you know, having had a fall before, a pretty bad fall, it's interesting that I'm starting to enjoy this again. And I am nervous, you know, I'm not going to lie. Particularly on my own, makes me a bit more nervous. So I do send regular pictures home to my wife so that she can see where I am. Because, you know, I could turn an ankle. Anything can happen up here. I can't get over how calm it is, though. And how warm. Unbelievable. Anyway, lots of yakking, not enough walking, so I'm going to finish my coffee and crack on with the walk. See you in a bit. Number three, Ben Lewis. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> This is the site of a crashed plane, a B-24 Liberator, bound for Prestwick from Newfoundland on the side of Ben Lewis. So, a ravine. It's pretty challenging to get down this actually. But I did, and I'm really pleased with these little attachments here that allow me to hook up my walking pole without taking my backpack off. That's pretty neat. Now I'm going to climb up that and then I'm on the flat until I get to the Garval, so I'm more or less home. Another hour, should be at the car. Great day. Made it back to the car. 15 kilometres, 999 metres ascent. <laughs> Couldn't have been a thousand metres, right? and sare feet, my feet are absolutely gouping. So I'm gonna have to get insoles, I think, cause it's the balls of my feet and the tips of my toes. So I think insoles might help, but I did it. It took way longer than I expected, over 10 hours, but it was great. I had a fantastic day. And now I'm gonna order a battered saucy supper and go home for a bath.
see you later